okay so we are going to create a folder here for our server and in the server i will open it in the command prompt then i will do some uh, you can say uh, commands which will create our server for node.js with express so the first command is npm in it which will a minute, which will create uh, a simple json file in my folder uh, with some configuration like server package name null, i will put it null then version uh, description node.js server entry point index.js this is the file which our entry point for our server crash command which we will do is npm start get repository we don't have uh, and uh, keyword we will don't have authors and ahmed and then license i see we say yes and it will create a package file okay so let me open it in our uh, code base and then what we will do is we will install uh, express for our api and a library for uh, our database connection which is mongoose so the first one we will run is we have uh, npm install express minus if if then we will uh, also run the command for database which is npm I. we will also need to install one more command which is one more package which is nodemon because nodemon is a package because nodemon is a package uh, which need to be required to run uh, let me give you an example so i will put it in this then save okay so what i will do is uh, i will create an index.js file which i mentioned that this will be the entry point for our server so okay so i have a basic code which i just need to get from my file and then paste it here so it's the express package which i already installed it uh, the express uh, import it uh, uh, and then use the app uh, uh, use the express function in an app and uh, define a port 3000 uh, there's a basic route the route is simply app dot get so uh, my request is get the what the request is the request is uh, health check okay then uh, there is a function which is we can say callback function which will give us a request and rest request is a parameter which is um, show us the parameter which is come from the front end from from for, for from the front end as a request that these bodies come from front end for the back end and rest is what uh, we can use to send the data to front end so what we will do here is we will simply res dot status with 200 and then send to front end which is uh, server is up okay and the app dot listen is a function which will uh, you can say sh run our server up the server for the specific port which we give in this first parameter and the second parameter is a function which i have only uh, done a console to show you the server is run so if i go to the package.json file here is a script and have a command npm start so let's try npm start if it do anything or not for us okay then what we would do is we will do node uh, start node sorry node and then index dot js so it will it should start the server <coughs> okay so it is start the server for us on a uh, uh, port 3000 but let's say i change uh, this uh, i change uh, anything in this file the server is up running so if i s control s or save the file it uh, we need to <coughs> rerun the server and to rerun the server we need to uh, terminate the server and then run this command so it will be costly to uh, stop our server every time which uh, whenever we change the we change uh, anything in the file 
so what we do is there's a package called node mon which help us to do a uh, watch thing watch like thing to see if anything happen in our any file so it will rerun the server automatically so let me just install it and then uh, create a command which is uh, start and then node mon index dot yes so what it will do is okay so yeah there's a package installed in this so that's why so now if i uh, close this and then run a node mon so whenever i change this file it will automatically run the server you see so yeah that is and uh, if i want to check the api is calling so i just need to call a postman postman is a tool or you can say a offline tool which developer use to check the apis for testing environment and there's a lot we can do with the postman which uh, i will create a separate video on it to show you a different techniques and tip and tricks to use uh, you can use for your projects so let me just open another and our server is local host cancel it local host just take this and health check and click the send button so it's showing me server is up running so our backend is ready so we just need to uh, we just need to yeah there's a memory way. so what we will do is we are going to create a front end and then connect with a back end uh, without without any database so for the front end we will simply do go into this folder create a front end cmd let me open in the terminal and for the front end i use react library to simply uh, create us uh, pre pre you can say a pre defined uh, structure for an application basic structure for any uh, front end application so we just need to do is and run this command and let's see what it will be do okay so just give me a second and npm npm just give me a second let me do this and then the app name is front end app let's see what it will do it's installing all the dependencies so as now we install our so as now we install our application front end we just need to go to this front end app and see what we got in our basic structure for react and open this so here's some libraries i will install to get some ui and for some routing in our application so and we will start and see what we got in our react app okay uh, so we have a uh, few libraries which uh, will be useful so the one is npm install uh, npm install react auto dom which will be used for routing and the second which is a bootstrap which is not a library a cdn link which will be useful to get a bootstrap functionality in our application for css for our ui based components so let's see what we got in this apart from that let's see what we got in this uh, 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 src folder so we have some uh, app.css app.js uh, app.test.js which is for testing index index yes uh, so okay so let me uh, create some architecture for our application which have uh, some components folder I will tell you about this folder uh, 
uh, uh, soon components then we have a folder for utils then we have folder for middleware then we have a folder for assets and a folder for pages yeah so currently that's all we have uh, now let me see the front end okay so what we do here is uh, uh, i will go to the i will get another terminal open it and then run the command and give it a dom and sorry so it would install the react dom library uh, let me also do one thing that uh, i will get initial routing from something like this so I'll go here if I go here let put this one and export some links from this so then out then go to pages and create home page create login page and what we say yeah uh, just say home and login page of it so in the home login page i have a file in the and uh, uh, I have a functional component which is I will put a name of home so call this home page via or uh, login page via login so what part do is when I put uh, a slash login uh, in our browser URL uh, localhost 3000 slash login it will move me to this component which is uh, a login component it will render the login component so if I go to this and create a h1 tag which is a login heading and if I start our application and I just need to get another route for our home page and while this is starting let me create an api on backend so on the backend we have also uh, some you can say architecture we need to follow like i will create a src folder then in this src folder i will move uh, i will follow some of the mvc structure in which we have controllers then we have our models models which is a database uh, which we will do lately and then a urls and then uh routes then we have a configuration in which we have a database connectivity mongodb configuration so that's all from the backend let me go to our front end which has started and create a home page so the error should be gone let me go to this so this is i'm getting because i don't have any home page screen so let me create it home and then put it in this h2 tag which is home so if i go to here and home it should uh, render now so if I then login it will move me to login and if I get to home it move me to home okay so uh, let get the UI for our login page so boot strap login forms template let me go to this and get any beautiful UI for login this is the good this is good for us so let me get the html code for it which is this one 
and by doing this we will also go and see how why we can get the Okay, so now we have a login screen but we don't have any bootstrap uh, connected yet because for that I need to do some things uh, like there's a link for link uh, and I just need to put this in our uh, public folder and index.html and just after this link stack and then for JavaScript for use the javascript uh, for our uh, the javascript functionality for our um you can say bootstrap just need to do this and then it should render a good ui for this okay so just we need to copy so the basic ui is not working now working but i need to get the css also so here's the css we need to get this all CSS hmm so where we do it we will put it in here and pages uh, login style.css file and then paste it what I will do is we remove this body and h1 tag got it so now i just need to import this style in our login import style.css and it should render a good ui now so we have the ui now there is no ui icon so i will delete it because for that I think the uh, the link is deprecated or or tap and don't know but now we have a good UI so here our UI so now uh, we have our UI and let create a route path for our login which will be like app dot post so we have a post path for our login and the URL will be auth slash login and it have a parameter uh, uh, it have a callback which will have a request and rest and on that part we will what we do is we will simply uh, we will simply return you can say rest dot uh, status and 2000 and uh, send message and the message will be login successful I'm not creating here any uh, any uh, logical part in this video we will do it in the next video I'm just I'm just uh, uh, representing you how we can call the APIs from front end uh, to get the data from the back end so this part will we will copy and we go to our uh, front end application and then simply go to this uh, middleware and create a path uh, create a file which is auth.js and this file we will simply create a const and this const uh, api const auth apis mi middleware is equal to this and login function we have a login function which will be async and error function and then this okay so what we do here is we will simply do a const response is equal to await and then we do a fetch fetch is an api method uh, which will be using to fetch uh, the which is the data from the backend. So the fetch API have a first parameter which is a URL for the API. So uh, we have a URL for local. Let me do this 
copy this path and paste it here and then the second parameter should be the parameter for uh, define what the API method is is it post is it get it is put or else what you do is and then const risk is equal to await dot json and then sorry response dot json and await is a keyword and then console it dot log which is rest okay so also we'll do it try catch so if any error happen it will catch it will show in catch block which is uh, a common practice and good practice to follow then I will copy this API middleware and go to our login page and let's uh, forget password uh, login page okay so on click we have a handle handle login which is a function so I create a function handle login and in this login function I have simply got auth middleware dot login so I will call this function and it should call the API so it's notified okay auth login is notified no problem import uh, login from our yep so let's see what we got if i click on this button but uh, before that uh, let me open the spec element see if there's any request uh, which hit so if i click on login it hit okay so let me do one thing which is uh, currently doing here is is refreshing the page so remove it and then simply create a first do this let's see what happened if I remove this okay then got it <coughs> button login remove this uh, remove this see what we got okay no problem let me no problem let me just simply do some CSS here let me first check if the API is calling or not on click we didn't export it so I think that's where the issue is here yeah so now the API is calling but it's not not found so let me check because we have a server 3000 3001 so let me change it to this one and see what we got if I click on this so if I click on login it said 200 and but it is is showing uh, okay error let me check fail to fetch login okay no problem fail to fetch okay so okay so we fetch uh, the api but there's a uh, uh, you can say a uh, access for cross origin uh, for local so the simplest solution is this course and course npm and we install the course library on our backend so we allow the API for any origin to come and 
facilitate our front end from to from the back end so let's install it and then simply go to this uh, this one and copy this and let's see if it's eliminate the issue or not so it's eliminated the issue for our cross region and now we have a message which is login successful so that's how we call our api and that's how we get the data from backend and now we just simply connect a database to our backend and see uh, uh, you can say see any record coming from a database so we simply what i do is i will create i have an account on uh, mongodb atlas so i will show you how you can create it, it. so i just uh, in a new project so you will uh, click on the new project and then uh, uh, let's see three tier I have put uh, the name Twitter app and then click next and then uh, don't need to create and add any member create project simply then you just need to go and create a cluster for your project free cluster so build a database get a free cluster shared and uh, it's not very choose them by create cluster then username password my username is uh, user one my password is also user one create user then uh, IP address what IP address uh, this database should follow so suppose your backend uh, connecting to a database the database uh, for this database this database check what IP address I am getting from the backend so it should be uh, what what is it should be let me see all IP all IP for for Mongo DB should be uh, zero 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 dot slash zero it should be this let me check on and let me also say you can compare add and then finish the second condition setting up then go to database then your cluster is being creating so let me pause the video and resume it later okay, now that we have created the cluster we just need to click on connect and select the connection string so here's the connection string which will be used for our uh, MongoDB connection let me go this configuration create a database file database connectivity JSON and in it I will simply do is uh, module dot exports and his object and let me make it MongoDB DB is uh, DB and in it I will have a function which is async and then I will simply const uh, data base is equal to await mongos dot connect and here's the string so remove the password and copy the password what we have here is this and then simply return the database 
let me also repeat it in Kraken so if there's anything happen error it will catch in a uh, uh, catch block error and if everything goes smoothly console.log database database con is connected so what we do a simple thing here is I will create a API for fetch a user uh, in the second state so what we do here is I will uh, in the second part of this uh, series or video I will uh, 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 create dynamics data uh, tables and data in this so let me check uh, first the database is connecting and not so let me go here and const is a const uh, database const confi configuration is equal to required and in this let me go to src then configuration then database and if i go here and click mongodb it should send me the notification that database is connected if it's everything goes well yet see so that is connected so that's how we can work on the application of three types in the next video i will show you the basic operations on database hope you like the content and uh, share with the other persons who want to learn a basic uh, three types application structure so see you soon on the next video